Hey, what's up guys? This is Nick at stridewise.com and today I'm looking at the pros and cons of two very popular boots that a lot of people have asked me to compare. The Wolverine 1000 Mile and the Captain from Thursday Boot Company. Now I haven't just bought these boots, opened the box and started looking at the pros and cons. As you can see, they're both pretty worn in. I've taken these around the world. I put a lot of miles on these shoes, not quite a thousand miles, but I have worn them through some pretty gross New York storms. The captains here actually took on a pretty lengthy trip to Columbia. Frankly, they've both seen a lot of steps and there's a lot to talk about here. So the Wolverine is the old line of these two boot companies. The company was founded all the way back in 1883. And this particular boot was launched in the 1910s and it developed this reputation as a very long lasting durable boot. A boot that you may in fact potentially be able to walk a thousand miles in. Nowadays it's available in dozens and dozens of varieties including bison leather and rough out and suede. There's even some cordovan version of these boots. But this is the most classic, the best known version of the boot which is made of brown chrome XL leather. Thursday Boot Company, on the other hand, is the new kid on the block. This company was founded in 2014 by Connor Wilson and Nolan Walsh with the goal of delivering the perfect hybrid boot at a low markup. So the founders were just kind of sick of the fact that all the best known older brands out there typically cost uh, three, four, five hundred dollars and that honestly just doesn't have to be the case when you're looking at the quality of the materials and not just the value of the brand behind them. So they came out with this, this is the Captain boot. I mean, they've actually come out with a lot of other different kinds of boots as well, but the Captain is considered the signature boot. So how does it hold up against the older brands? So let's start off with a quick overview of the aesthetics of these boots. Now, the Wolverine 1000 Mile, it does have a reputation as a pretty rugged boot. And that is exemplified by like, the triple stitching along the vamp here, uh, the thickness of the leather, the leather is about two millimeters thick, and it doesn't even have any lining. Like it really is a boot just for kicking around, for getting dirty, uh, potentially for doing some work in. It's relatively versatile and it doesn't have a big chunky toe cap or a steel toe, so you could potentially take it out in the town if you wanted to. But nonetheless, when you look at a boot like this, it really just does kind of scream a ruggedness and outdoorsiness that the other boot doesn't. It's got a leather sole as well. As you can see, I was telling the truth and I said I've been walking around in this. I've scratched up the leather sole good and proper. This is one of the main reasons why I don't absolutely love leather soles because they do get pretty ugly pretty quickly, although that does improve the grip. But generally, I don't feel they really function particularly well. Finally, the welting. This is a 270 degree Goodyear welt. It ends around the heel here. As as you can see, that has some implications for water resistance, but by and large, a Goodyear welt, relatively water resistant, and it makes it easier to resole as well. Thursday has gone for a bit of a different aesthetic. As I mentioned earlier, the goal with this shoe is to get the perfect hybrid shoe, like the perfect blend of dressy and casual, fashionable and functional. So to that end, the silhouette has been streamlined with a sleeker toe box that makes for a much more sensible looking boot, in my opinion, and really differentiates it from other toe capped work boots like the Red Wing Iron Ranger, which I really like, but I can always count on someone calling them clown shoes because the toe cap is a lot more bulbous. That's not the case here. This is again, it's quite a bit more streamlined and it really makes it for a much more versatile boot. You can wear this with a t-shirt and you can wear them with slacks in my opinion. That's not something you can pull off with Wolverine 1000 Mile. The sole is also a very different story. This looks like Daynight, but it isn't. This is a medium density rubber that I Thursday came up with themselves. And as you can see, it doesn't get as dirty as easily. And there's a really nice compromise between durability and flexibility and grip. I have one down the heel a little bit, which is an issue that I pretty obviously have because I've done that with both of my boots. As you can see on the bottom there. But another big difference between these two shoes, as you can see from the heel, is that the, the uh, Thursday has a 360 degree Goodyear welt, whereas the Wolverine has a 270 degree Goodyear welt here. So there's no stitching around the back here. For a lot of guys, that's an aesthetic choice because it makes for a slimmer looking heel. But honestly, in my opinion, I think that the welting on the Wolverine is a lot more noticeable and ostentatious than the welting on the Thursday Captain boot, which again, in my opinion, makes the Thursday Captain boot just to be a little bit more versatile. So let's compare the leather in these two shoes. 
The Wolverine 1000 Mild, this is made from the very famous and beloved leather called Chrome XL from Halloween Leather Company. It's super, super well known. It's used in boots from Wolverine 1000 Mild to like Vibergs, which are about twice the price and everyone in between. It's a really, really beloved leather and that is because it has a really good depth of color and it's very moist. It takes about 28 working days to make these in the Halloween Leather Company and it undergoes 89 separate processes during which it is imbued with a really wide variety of oils and waxes like beef tallow and beeswax, marine oil, things like that, which makes for a very kind of lustrous leather with a good depth of color. It's kind of vulnerable to scratching the top finish. Um, besides that, people do really, really like it. It ages pretty well, but there is a difference between different boot companies and the Chrome XL that they use. This boot, it really didn't age very well. As you can see, it has wrinkled quite a lot here along the vamp as well. I also had a little bit of loose grain along the side of the shaft too. That doesn't mean that Chrome XL is bad leather. There are people out there who just say, you should just expect loose grain increasing with Chrome XL. But different boot companies have different quality control, different leather selection processes. You won't find this kind of stuff, at least not in my experience, with like an Olden or a Viberg or a more expensive shoe. In my opinion, Wolverine, they're not the best at leather selection, which is why I've got this kind of creasing here, which I have to say I wasn't a really big fan of, despite all the accolades and the great reputation that Chrome XL does have. But Thursday did not go the traditional route with their leather. They went ahead and made their own leather. This is called Thursday Chrome. So this is a custom developed tier one full hide leather that actually has a lot of similarities with Chrome XL. They are both combination tanned leather. So it's a combination of vegetable and chrome tanning. They've both got really good depth of color. This is obviously a darker brown. It's got hints of burgundy as well, which I found really interesting. Now, both boots are available in a wider variety of leathers, but Thursday Chrome is definitely considered their signature leather. And I think it's a really, really nice kind of leather. It also has a real consistency of color that I found really remarkable. You don't get quite as much of the undulating tones of brown that you might get in some kinds of Chrome XL, but the like you wear these, they develop some character, they develop some light creases, they start to get uh, to take on the shape of your own foot, and then you do see that they are going to age well, and they are going to develop character as they age, so that's one thing that I really did like about this leather. Now, compared to the Wolverine 1000 Mile, the leather here is a little bit thinner. This is about 1.8 millimeters thin, the Wolverine is two millimeters thin, so that is true to the goal of making this combination dressy and casual boot, this combination fashionable and functional boot. I do want to point out that the Thursday Captain is, uh, the leather is a lot thicker than a lot of dress boots and dress shoes, which are often like one millimeter thick. And in any case though, the two of them, I was happier with the way the Thursday Chrome aged. If you look at the two of these shoes, again, the leather has really aged a lot worse on the Wolverine 1000 Mile. There are way more creases and there's way more loose grain. The Thursday Chrome, when I got it, it was honestly flawless. No loose grain and uh, as it's aged, it's honestly just getting better. All right, so let's talk about these soles. The Wolverine 1000 Mile, this has a leather outsole. Now, it's not like there are no pros to a leather outsole. It's nice and flexible. I like the ground feel, which is one of my favorite words. I like the way the ground feels through the shoe when you're walking around in it. I like the way it sounds, especially when you're walking inside. But by and large, I'm not a huge fan of leather outsoles. Uh, it gets super dirty super quickly. Um, it gets uh, very scratched up as well and just it doesn't perform that well. It doesn't have very good grip at all. The grip does get better the more ugly it gets, but generally speaking, I mean, I've walked around Manhattan during some pretty ugly thunderstorms more than once in these shoes and I slip. I mean, I don't fall on my butt, but I skitter a little bit when walking around. I'm not very confident walking around in this shoe, although it does have a Vibram heel, which I need to point out. Vibram is a really high quality rubber that does definitely help some of those issues with the grip. But generally speaking, I'm, I'm not super confident walking around in these shoes when the weather is wet or slippery. After the leather outsole, you got a cork midsole and leather insole, uh, which is pretty common in boots. And uh, like a lot of other boots with the cork midsole and the leather insole, it does mold the shape of your foot over time. They feel a little bit more like they're made for you the longer you wear them, which is uh, always really nice with these kind of shoes. But there's no shank in these shoes, which I was really surprised by. So the arch support isn't fantastic and the stability isn't amazing. Now it's not an uncomfortable shoe by any means, but that lack of shank, it was a bit of a bummer, I gotta say. Thursday, on the other hand, all right, so this is a rubber outsole. It's like a medium density rubber that's really, really similar to Day Night. I didn't feel much of a difference between the two. 
Really good grip, a million times better than the 1000 mile. Uh, good flexibility, good durability. I haven't really worn down the heel very much at all, even though I definitely have a problem dragging my heels as I walk and that manifests pretty quickly in a lot of my shoes. Not so much here, I was, I was pretty impressed with this one. Um, after the rubber outsole, you've got the cork midsole and the leather insole, like the 1000 mile, but there are a few other differences as well. There is a shank in this shoe. So it is a uh, anti-fatigue steel shank. So the arch support was a lot better. Uh, also the stability was better. I'm also more confident that as the shoe ages, it's not going to lose its comfort and lose its arch support. So that's a big bonus of having a shank in your shoes. A lot of people consider it the most important part of a boot. Um, it's also got full glove leather lining, which is really nice and adds to the comfort. That's really cool. There's no lining at all in the Wolverine 1000 mile. Finally, this has the, the secret sauce of Thursday Boot Company. It's got this Jura EVA comfort strip, which is a really interesting addition. It's not uncommon in athletic shoes, but it's very uncommon in boots and it makes for a shoe that has a bit more spring in your step. It's a little bit softer, it's a bit more comfortable and over time, uh, it really does start to feel a lot more like a pair of sneakers than a pair of boots. So I was a big fan of that. So when it comes to fit and sizing, these shoes actually have quite a lot in common. I mean, Thursday currently has more sizes. They run from six to 15, while Wolverine runs from six to 14, although that can change at any moment for any reason. But yeah, other than that, with both of these shoes, uh, I found I had to order about a half size smaller than my uh, sneaker size. So I'm a size 11 in both of these, whereas a lot of my other boots are a size 11 and a half. Um, but besides that, there's also just two widths available for both of these shoes. Uh, there's a regular width and a wider width. With the Wolverines, they go from size D width to triple E. Those are the two sizes it has of the width. So that's D for normal and triple E is double extra wide, I guess you would say. Thursday, on the other hand, they don't use the letters for their width. They just have standard and wide. Standard is meant to be for sizes D and E, uh, and the wide is for double E and triple E. For both of these shoes, I found them pretty comfortable. Um, I like to wear thicker socks with both of them, um, but in any case, if you have a D width foot like I do, you're not gonna be in trouble with the, with the D width they have here. So that was totally fine. Both of them have relatively flexible soles, as you can see. Both were very easy to break in, which is a bonus. Uh, the main downsides with the fit and the comfort uh, with the Wolverine it's got to be as I mentioned earlier the lack of a shank that was a bit of a bummer arch support isn't so great with the Thursday uh, I do confess it took a few days to get used to the Jura EVA comfort strip at first it felt a little bit like sand um, but after a little bit uh, after a bit of walking in these it really does start to mold the shape of your foot and uh, it becomes one of the most comfortable pairs of boots I've ever had so yeah neither is a absolutely perfect boot but in my opinion I, uh, I just prefer the feeling of walking around in the captain boot Okay, so when it comes to the price, the Wolverine 1000 mile, this boot is $365 for a pair. That's what it is on their official website anyway. Uh, if you go on Amazon though, it's quite a bit cheaper. I've seen them there for $320, so definitely get them from Amazon if you're interested in getting a pair. So there's a captain boot. The price is really one of the most notable things about this very notable boot. The cost is $199 for a pair of these boots. and. As I mentioned a couple of times, I really think the construction and materials are really, really high quality. They didn't go with the very pricey Chrome XL leather, instead they make this leather, which is uh, really high quality as well. They didn't go with the very expensive Day-Night sole, instead they've made their own, which I think performs just as well. Um, and yeah, so it's just a lot of little touches like that led to them being able to make a boot that's just $199, which I think is really, really inexpensive and really high value for this shoe. So um, it, it's no contest with the price, the Thursday is clearly the winner here. All right, so which is the better boot? I mean, when you are comparing these two boots, they have a lot of differences, but one of the big similarities is that they are both sort of trying to be a combination work and dress boot. When you're comparing the Wolverine with like a Red Wing Iron Ranger, that boot is much more clearly a work boot, whereas this one doesn't have a toe cap. It's a little bit slimmer. It's trying to be something you can maybe wear out to a bar. Uh, so in some regards, this succeeds, but when you're comparing it to the Captain boot, I think this succeeds much more at being a versatile boot. You can wear it in a bunch more situations. And look, I get that the Wolverine is a thicker, clunkier, chunkier, louder sort of boot. And the leather is a little bit thicker. And it sort of does confer this air of being more durable. Uh, I've worked in a few warehouses in my time. I've seen plenty of 1,000 miles. Uh, I wouldn't expect to see Thursday Captain boots being worn by a lineman or an electrician or something like that. But honestly, I think a lot of that has to do with stereotypes and perceptions of these boots rather than the actual reality of the fact. Because 
While the Wolverine does have thicker leather, honestly, I think the Captain has aged a lot better. The leather is also more resistant to scratches in my experience. The grip is a million times better on the Captain boot. And this has a 360 degree welt versus the 270 degree welt on the Wolverine. So honestly, I found the Thursday to be more water resistant as well. So honestly, when you're trying to come up with a pair of boots that's going to go well in a bunch of different environments and a bunch of different climates, this is all very subjective, but I, I'm a bigger fan of the Thursday Captain boot, especially given the fact that it's over $100 less expensive. All right, so those are my thoughts on the 1000 mile versus the Captain boot. Again, my opinion is completely subjective and I could very well be wrong. Let me know in the comments which boot you think is the best one and why, and make sure you subscribe. I've got about a million more boot reviews coming up.